Now in view is the Cygnus cargo craft. You can start seeing the uh, um, solar arrays at the side. You see the back left there. Those are those ultra flex solar arrays on Cygnus. Again, about 800 meters away from station. Less than five meters away from the holding point, uh, actually closer to about 34 um, meters away from the International Space Station. Rate is uh, is slowing down just a bit now, about 0 0.04 meters per second, closing in on that 30 meter holding point. From then, again, ground teams will assess whether or not to uh, move towards that capture position. So Paolo Nespoli aboard the International Space Station, now working with Randy Bresnik can uh, use the station's robotic arm to capture the Cygnus cargo vehicle. Flight controllers uh, just flip the camera to its um, to get a better view of the station's robotic arm and Cygnus. Again, Cygnus holding it about 30 meters away from the station. You can see the tip of the station's robotic arm uh, there, sort of toward the center of your screen. That's where um, Cygnus is heading next after the go for departing the 30 meter holding point. It'll go just about around the range of uh, 10 meters away from the International Space Station, about 10 or 12. Um, that'll get it into its position um, almost perfectly, so Paolo Nespoli just has to push the controls forward, uh, and right there you can see the latching end effector will will grab the um, Cygnus vehicle. And uh, we'll, we're, right now we're looking at a capture time just around the vicinity of 4 a.m. Central Time still. We'll keep you updated if anything changes, but again, 4 a.m. Central Time for, for that capture time. In the meantime, um, we'll wait for the call to depart the 30 meter holding point. Now passing uh, 13 meters away from the station, about 12.5 now. You can see the uh, west coast of South Africa, International Space Station, 257 statute miles above the Earth. Seeing this cargo vehicle just over 12 meters away from that. Station just about to pass over Cape Town, South Africa. Now two meters away, everything looking good so far. Now over the pin, in the capture envelope, with that the carriage is driving. And driving the final commands to capture the Cygnus vehicle 4.04 a.m. Central Time today over the southeastern Indian Ocean, just southwest of Australia.
robotics officers working through the installation process now. Uh, right now at the end of the station's robotic arm is the Cygnus vehicle moving towards the Nader port, the earth-facing port of the Unity module where it will stay uh, for the next few weeks up until early December. The installation process will uh, include the station's robotic arm driving it into that port. There are four gangs of four bolts, 16 bolts total, that need to be driven to complete the installation process. There's the first and second stage capture. On the second stage will be the official berthing time uh, for today. If you look close, closely, you can see the Cygnus cargo vehicle slowly moving right in front of the uh, common berthing mechanism that you can see uh, right there in the middle of your screen. Cygnus cargo vehicle on board is about 7,400 pounds of uh, supplies and equipment. The slower the better for maneuvering uh, such large volumes in space. Face to ground two, the PCS relocate from the airlock, or for correction, from the cupola so the airlock is complete. We copy, thank you. So it may look like the uh, Cygnus cargo vehicle is just um, sort of hanging out there, but uh, there's a lot of going on on the back end. Right now, the robotics officers are in, um, moving on forward to the uh, ready-to-latch indicators. Once all of them are green-lit, they'll drive the bolts and uh, install, uh, officially install Cygnus to the International Space Station. So with the flight director confirmation, um, all 16 bolts have been successfully driven and second stage capture of uh, an installation of the Cygnus cargo vehicle to the International Space Station has been complete. All 16 bolts were driven uh, and completed at 6.15 a.m. Central Time today, while the International Space Station was 252 statute miles over the North Pacific Ocean uh, during the orbital nighttime.